Camtasia is hands down the best screen recording software for both beginners and intermediate users alike. But it's so much more than that. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step and show you what Camtasia has to offer. My name is Andre King, and I'm a professional video editor. I've been using Camtasia for quite some time, and this video is geared towards those that are starting out with Camtasia or those who wanna develop a better understanding of what Camtasia can do for you. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to add yourself inside a video monitor just like this, or even change over to an iPhone. And I'm gonna walk you through that step by step. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start out with the workhorse of Camtasia, the screen recorder. And as you can see here, we've got a blank project loaded up. This is what the interface of Camtasia looks like. Clicking on record brings up this menu, which provides many options for the creator to go ahead and drill down on exactly what they want to be displayed in their recording. As you can see highlighted here, the first option is what screen or section of a screen the creator wants to be recorded. So we can select from screen one or two. And if we go ahead and zoom out, there's also an option for selecting a region, which allows us to manually draw the area we want recorded. Next up is the video source. And here we have our Canon M50 displaying a side angle profile, while the default is the laptop's built-in camera, as you see here. The microphone selection allows us to toggle between audio sources. Here we have our Shure MV7 USB microphone plugged in, and that's what we'll be using for this recording. Any of these options can be toggled on or off, and we'll leave the system audio off, and this will disable sounds coming from the running applications. Now that we have our choices selected, Let's go ahead and push the red button to begin our recording. And the countdown begins. Nothing fancy here. We'll bring down a simple keystroke callout to our timeline, and we'll use this short clip in just a few seconds. Let's go ahead and hit stop to end this recording. So let's go ahead and get rid of this that we used in our screen recording, and go ahead and drag down that file into the timeline. As you can see, we have two files here on two different tracks. Up top, we've got the audio file, as well as the video input that we use, which was the secondary camera there. And on the bottom, this is just the screen recording of the background that we had there playing. So let's go ahead and disable this real quick, just so you can see the difference. So now we can make edits to that top file as well. Let's go ahead and select that and scale this out just a bit from the option in the selected format there. One quick thing that we can do is go over here to our visual effects, and let's just go ahead and select corner rounding and drop that right on top of that track. We can also right click here, add visual effect, and if you know which one you're gonna do, you can select it here just as well. So now what Camtasia does is it puts each of those selections here on the right underneath your properties, depending on if it has to do with the file or the audio. But right here, you can see the corner rounding. So we can go ahead and play with that just a bit. We can simply round those corners and bring it in. We can change just one, two, or three of these corners. So there's a lot of options for you to get wild and crazy with there. And again, this is just one of the simplest ways to go ahead and change your camera angle. You can move it around, left side, right side, Scale that down again. And like we said, it's up to you, the creator, to come up with something that's pleasing to the eye, but doesn't take too much attention away from the video. Just like in any other video editing program, Camtasia makes it so easy to import sample clips. You can simply drag them into your timeline in whichever track you need them to be on. Let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. One easy thing to remember is that if you need to keep your files together, there's an easy way to do that. Simply click on this magnet to enable magnetic track. And regardless of whether you split something and delete a portion, it'll make sure that all files on that track stay together. Simple video things such as transition, which Camtasia has many, are right here. 
I use them sparingly and usually use the same one or two. Try not to go overboard. Fade to Black is one of my favorite as it's simple, clean, and pretty polished. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. And again here into the next file. So there you go. But lots of options as you can see here. We told you earlier that we would show you how easy it is to get a picture or a video into a frame. Underneath visual effects, all you have to do is drag device frame onto that clip. And as you play a video file, it'll stay inside of a computer, a phone, or you can select more media from TechSmith's website. There are times where you need to speed down or slow down a clip. You can do that by enabling the clip speed on top as your effects are always going to be here on the right side. You see that I just enabled that device frame pretty simple. If you want to get rid of it, you can simply click the X, but it's easy just in case you need in the future to toggle it on and off. But for your speed clip, let's say you want it to slow this section down or speed it up. It's pretty long now, so let's go ahead and speed this up and make that one five seconds. And as you can see, Camtasia easily does the math. 2.83 times the original speed. If you need to bring in any text, there's two ways to do that. We'll get into the second, but first, underneath annotation, there's so many methods here. Simple text, different shapes and borders on the outside. So let's go ahead and choose this box here. We can change not only the elements of the word, but also the box. Let's go ahead and start with the box by clicking on the correct tab. Change the color here. Let's go ahead and soften that one up just a bit. There we go. And let's come back now. And if you needed an outline, you could go ahead and do that here. Or make it, of course, a little bit more opaque. Coming back to the text, simply double click in there and type away. And you can, of course, have your color options and your font there if you want to change those. Maybe you need a call out, something such as an arrow. Here's more options to simply drag in and reorient there. But pretty simple ways and a lot of things that are natively built in. You may also need to get rid of a color, chroma key. Here we, of course, need to get rid of the green, but let's go ahead and spin this one around. There on the Z axis and back as you guessed it, visual effects. Let's remove a color. And green was already selected, but we can see green in the edge. So let's increase the tolerance, make it a little bit softer there. And there we go. And so now if we wanted to, of course, bring that down here in the smoke, we would have that chroma key feature there as well. Amtasia also makes keyframing a breeze. And to demonstrate that, let me bring down a quick snapshot of a web page here. And let's go ahead and get rid of these two elements and bring our head here. So if you were doing a screen capture and you needed to zoom in on a part, then simply come on over here to animations and put your playhead wherever you need that to start. So if you want to start zooming in and make it this long, then simply go ahead and zoom on the portion there. And automatically you see those arrows there. So if we play it back, that's the speed of how it'll zoom in. You can, of course, change that without re-recording. Maybe you want it to start there. So it'll stay its original size. And then it'll zoom in real quick. So depending on how slow or how fast you need it to zoom, simply do that. And of course, to get it back, simply go to actual size. Bring that back. And there you go. Move that dot again from the time that you want it to go back to its original spot. And it'll look just like this, zooming in right there and back out right there. If you need to highlight an area, likewise, come on back into annotations 
and here are our effects here. So let's say we wanted to spotlight an area such as right here. So it will automatically kind of do the graying out of things that are out of cycle there. And you can see it right there. Let's go ahead and delete that. Let's say you needed to hide image. If you had some sensitive information, some social security numbers or something like that, then you could actually blur something out as well. Let's say we needed to just blur all of these words out here. So there's no calculating anything. Just go ahead and drag the box to the area that you need it to blur out. Maybe you want to also highlight something with a color. So there's just tons of options here, as you can see, that Camtasia allows you to do. Have you ever seen someone draw a box around something and wonder how did they do that? Again, Camtasia makes that process so, 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 so easy. Let's come on over here to sketch motion. And as you can see here, some of these look a little cartoonish. This square here, as you can see, that just means it's not going to draw it perfectly round on the edges. But sometimes, depending on what you got, that effect works out fantastic for you. So let's go ahead and slide this effect over here. And let's go ahead and shorten it. And let's get a view on what it's doing there. So there you go. If you need it to, of course, draw a little bit faster, you can do that as well by changing the draw time so that it's finished drawing that rectangle quicker and it hangs there just a bit longer. Again, to make that a little bit more perfect, let's go ahead and delete that. And if you wanted, again, something on the other side where you did need it to look a little bit more clean cut, then you've got the same thing here. You can make it a square or rectangle and make sure each angle is 90 degrees. So there you go. And you can, of course, change the thickness and the color as well. So that's how a lot of creators do cool things like this here in Camtasia, because they just make it so, so easy to do effects such as this. Likewise with an arrow and some text. And there you can see how easy it is to put multiple things together to make a slide more intriguing. Camtasia also has a few useful audio effects. And for that, we simply go to the audio effects tab here. And as you can see, here are our selections. We've got two tracks here. One, which is actually the outro that we use each week and just a sample snippet of a recording here. So let's go ahead and play those together. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Andre King coming at you today with a real quick video. As you can see, they both played with the same volume. And a lot of times you have to go through and make multiple splits and ramp the volume up and down but there's actually this emphasize effect here that you can simply drag on top of the voice or whichever one of those sounds you want to be the main highlight and if we play that again let's see if you notice the difference what's good youtube it's your boy andre king coming at you today with a real quick video As you notice, when that spot hit, it actually lowered the volume automatically of the track underneath it. And it would do that to all other sound effects, except for the one where you place that effect on top of. Fade in and fade out is also something that I always use when I have music to gently ease it in and out in the outro. So it's not just a hard cut there. And I'll show you real quickly here. We may need to go ahead and extend that a bit to get the real effect there. But let's go ahead and listen to that real quick. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Andre King, coming at you today with a real quick video. And the noise removal, of course, would get rid of most background noises there if you had it. But as you can see from today's video, Camtasia has so much to offer and it's so easy to use. Most of the effects are as simple as dragging them down on top of the clip that you want 
and just simply changing those options. But I wanna give a big shout out to Camtasia for sponsoring today's video. And as the first sponsor of this channel, it truly, truly does mean a lot. So thank you so much. I also wanna thank each and every one of you out there for rocking in here with me today. Be sure to check out the link down in the description for your free trial of Camtasia. And when you're ready to purchase the full version, there's also a link down there too. And as always, remember, whether you create a little or you create a lot, just keep creating. So until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and peace.